Easy.com. Uh, today we're going to uh, do the song Harvest by Neil Young. Uh, my interpretation, the way I like to play it. So, let's get started. Okay, so first uh, of all, the song's in the key of D. And the strum pattern uh, that we're going to use for this song the whole way through will be bass note, down up, down up, bass note, down up, down up, bass note, down up, down up, the whole way through. There's three verses in this song and there's three choruses in this song. There's a little intro that starts out like so with the D chord. And then it starts out, did I see you down? It's 
start singing. And that little intro is uh, we're playing the D chord with the D bass note. There's the bass note. Then you go down, up, down, up. And then we play uh, and that the D bass note is the fourth string open. Then we play the fifth string open, the A bass note, with the D chord. So we're doing the D bass note. do that twice. And then we come into the, the vocals again. Did I see down, etc. Uh, the chord progression is D, A, G, and the A with the A bass note, the G with the G bass note, sixth string, third fret. And then we go back to D with the D bass note. And we hold the D little, uh, for, for three times. Well, let me play that. Did I see you down in the young? Here comes that whole uh, D. Girls town. played twice. Pain, the A bass note, and then the E bass note, uh, the um, fourth string, second fret. You could also play here open if you like. A here, and A here, or E, e here, open. It's up to you, whichever one you like. And, and then get it, it's twice, so it's pretty cool. Bass note down, up, down, up, and then I like to do the high E. Bass note down, up, down, up. That's why I'm counting the A is twice. So we go to G, G bass note. Almost, almost A there. B minor with a B bass note, fifth string, second fret. At the top of the E, open E bass note, stairs with her. D. We're going to hold it for four times. Screaming, there's one in the rain. Two, three, and there's four. Now, that's the whole thing. The whole chord progression from D to A to G to D held for three times to A held twice to G, A, B minor. E and D held for four. They just keep doing that over and over for all three verses and all three courses. Uh, to end the song, however, uh, the very last part, he Neil goes back and so do I, uh, to the G, the A, the B minor, the E, and the D, that section that we did earlier. And that's repeated again. So it's like, um, the ending repeats this. Dream up, dream up, let me fill your cup with the promise of a man. So it does it again. Dream up, dream up, let me fill your cup with the promise of a man. The very ending to end the song. Uh, uh, instead of doing all the chords here, we can also do it all bar chord. We go from D here with this D bass note, and then the A is here, alternating between those two. So there's the D. We got an A bar here, A bass note, uh, A E form down to a G, E form back to the D. Remember it's L three times. So the A held twice, then you go to the G, A, B minor, those bass notes are all in the sixth string, you drop here to an E, the bass note is on the fifth string, seventh fret, and back down to the D, fifth string, fifth fret. So you can play the whole song barred if you want to as well. Uh, now, I also put a little lead in this. And so, I guess I'll show you that if you want to play my little D major scale melodic lead thing that I like to throw in there. And it goes like, uh, so, uh, I um, start in the second string, second fret, and slide up to 
the act of the string third fret and play that that oh, that's counted as one two three so i pick it two more times and then i go back to the second fret uh, second string second fret cross over to the third string fourth fret third string second fret then third string fourth fret let's play three times back to the third string second fret and cross over to the fourth string fourth fret play three times back to the third string second fret play two times fourth string fourth fret third string uh, uh, string uh, fourth fret third string second fret fourth string second fret two times fourth string fourth fret fourth string second fret now I'm going to play that whole thing to put this run in that goes which is fourth string second fret fourth string third fret fourth string fourth fret third string second fret third string fourth fret second string second fret second string third fret you can chuck in some vibrato if you like and then second string third fret uh, pick the uh, two more times. Second string, second fret. Third string, fourth fret. Third string, second fret. Third string, fourth fret three times. Third string, second fret. Fourth string, fourth fret. It's going to be played five times. There's one, two, three, four, five. 4th string 2nd fret now we need a D so we're either going to play it on the 5th string 5th fret or you can play it just lift off you were on the 4th string 2nd fret and just lift off to 4th string open and then to the 3rd string 2nd fret make a D chord for this 3rd string 2nd fret you're picking it and then going back into the strumming and the same did I? etc. So here's the whole little lead that I play. And I, I like to chuck in a couple of little kind of like miniature bends uh, at a few places. That's up to you as well. Okay, so that's Harvest. I uh, hope you like my version. It's fairly close to Neil's. Remember, everything I do here is I do it the way it turns me on, the way I like to do it. I'm not Neil Young. I'm not Eric Clapton. I'm not Jimmy Page. I'm gene you know so I'm going to do it my way uh, and I'm going to try to have fun with it and be creative with it if you guys like I, I'm not trying to be a clone you know if you guys want to do clone stuff there's nothing wrong with that it's just I like being creative with it uh, so I encourage you to do the same thing make the song yours have fun with it uh, hey thanks